Hi, this is Ron McTuber playing The Hunter, Call of Wild on PC. We're on the Hunger Savannah, Africa, and we're just going to do a normal hunt and see what happens. Ron's had a little break because the previous part just messed Ron's game up. Uh, basically, it ruined some of my maps, uh, locations I couldn't travel to, couldn't find them. But now the true patch come out and it's fixed literally all of it. Uh, I've had to redo all of Hirschfeld and rediscover all the spots and redo Medved. So it took a little time to get it back to normal, but Ron's done it. Today I thought I'd jump on the Hunger Savannah because I've not hunted on here for a while since I've hunted lions and I thought we're just going to roll with it. I've got no specific idea of a project we're doing now, it's just go out and hunt and just see what comes naturally. Sometimes it works like this, sometimes you have an idea in your head of a theme you're going to follow and that's how videos work, sometimes it's just it happens on the fly. Got a nice kudu in the distance. I'm going to use a 243 so we can knock us down. There it goes. Yeah, that's not bad for the first shot. <laughs> little ruster. I had a little hunt yesterday for elk. I'm trying to get a diamond elk. I managed to get a few golds, but no uh, diamonds yet. But when I do, I will show you that. Um, we need one of those for the lodge. Hopefully we bag something nice on here, maybe some rears, some big trophies. I'm still after an albino lion, I haven't had one of those yet. I don't mind one of those for the trophy lodge. Anything that's great that can go in the lodge is going in the lodge, if we can get one. What's that? Three, one, and a four. Another four, so we'll try and nail this one. How's your hunting been going? How's your summer been going? Been having a great time? Bagged any big trophies? Pause for a minute while I try and take this kudu out. It's going to go in these bushes. I want to try and hit it before it does. I wanted it to stop. Normally they stop. But that one didn't. <laughs> we might get a lung on that one. We might have hit it a bit back. Let's run over and collect this other one, which was a four. Should be quite nice. Maybe a gold. <laughs> See that? It's like skittered down the, down the bank. Yes, there was a big patch of the day, the true patch, changed a lot of things, a lot of little additions, bug fixes, so I've been waiting for that for like two weeks, that's since my last video, so I've been waiting for that because of the issue I had, so I wanted to record some stuff but I couldn't because of the issue, which was annoying, frustrating, but that's just how games are sometimes, sometimes you have issues, you just have to deal with those. One of the great things that the new true patch brought is consecutives don't affect your score anymore that's been one of the biggest things I've asked for <laughs> since it came out um, so that is a big deal for me I'm really happy about that I'm sure a lot of other people are happy about it because there's never any warning what consecutive you was on say when you started up the game or where you were maybe if you was in a long hunt you weren't sure and if it ruined a diamond you'd be fuming and I'm sure many of you have had that I've had it myself um, sometimes it's been bulked and I've actually killed like three animals and it's still not getting me that so to see that not affect score anymore is a brilliant thing uh, that's been the biggest thing for me for true patch let's just turn this uh, mission system off I was doing some missions while I was uh, unlocking Medved as well um, but we're not doing none today, we're just doing a normal hunt. And hopefully bagging some trophies. I think there might be a line down here because there's been a big stampede of uh, wildebeest down near this lake going back and forth. Normally when that happens, a lion is chasing them. If you haven't seen that before, check out my lion video, um, attacks, hunting of the lion. Um, I show the stampedes in action and with lions uh, actually chasing them. So that's a gold, it's a four. Quite a nice shot, 217 meters. Nice and clean, heart and lung. So I like them. I thought it might be a bit rusty. I still might miss a few shots because, like I said, I've not played properly for a couple of weeks. Normally I play every day for a couple hours at least if I can. You have to keep your eye in, don't you? Another thing they brought in with True Patch is they've changed how the shotguns work. Uh, you can see all the pellets. Uh, how they spray on the trophy shots on the kill uh, screen so that's really good to do like that we'll have to do some duck hunting or rabbit hunting to just show what that's like 
do like duck hunting. Uh, I found a brilliant lake on Leighton yesterday, um, which I don't normally go to, but I tell you, there must have been about 100 ducks just sitting on it. Um, so I'm gonna have to maybe do a video on that very soon. Boys in the background, they're off school at the minute. Restless. Just trying to see these wildebeest, but they can't see them. They keep stampeding, they must be in the grass and all the trees. This lake where I'm actually at, uh, you do get a lot of lions around it, and if you're struggling to get lions on the hunger savannah, just go around the lakes. Find the lakes, go around them, and you will get lions pretty easy. A lot of people do struggle for them, but it's, it's like I say, just go to the water about midday and you will often find the lions all around them. And it's quite an easy tip for finding them. Just watch you don't get eaten by them. <laughs> I'm just trying to find these tracks again from a kudu. The second one we shot, I think, is probably a, uh, it's not great, it's probably a body or at the back. A bit late on it. But it was moving. Ideally, they take about eight to ten steps and then they'll stop. But that one just kept going, and it was going to go into the the tall bulrushes, uh, reeds. And uh, that would have been a a long waiting game. I didn't <laughs> I didn't fancy waiting for that. But here it is. Some male. It probably would have scored exactly the same, but we didn't get no quick kill bonus. So yeah, look stomach so we hit it a little late on the shot my machine uh, is still showing up even though i turned it off <laughs> i think i've got another place up the top we'll go to this is very good for kudu it's top lake so if you have the diamond one come up with this lake here because i've seen sometimes four or five all around this lake at once you also get a lot of other animals here like warthogs cape buffalo uh, even rabbits on the on the road coming down here. There's a lot of rabbits further down this road. There's quite a lot of species. Game spot even sometimes a bit. So there's most species on the reserve area. I'm gonna call from a kudu. I'm just trying to find it. There it is, and it's a four again. So as you can see, it's a good uh, little place for kudus. Oh my. I am definitely still a bit rusty. <laughs> it's not a monster anyway, so I'm not too bothered. Like I say, we're just looking round for something as we uh, <laughs> look at the skies. For some help from the hunting gods. Uh, yeah, we're just just hunting animals and hoping we come across something nice as we do that. Alright. Oh my. <laughs> I guess there's still a few issues yet. I'm just glad my maps are working now. Like I say, uh, Medved and Hirschfeld, and I couldn't even go to towers, outposts, and stuff. But that was one of the main fixes of. Oh, we did hit it, nice. Yeah, so we did get. I, I thought we'd just bodied it. Yeah, that was one of the fi fixes in the uh, true patch. My coup did behind us was to fix the uh, it was outpost basically you'd not to uh, holy hell what what a herd what a herd have you ever seen that because I know I haven't I've never even had one of those and to see two next to each other in one herd I think when I looked at the sky they must have heard my prayers because look at that so now we've got to get round to him I'm not shooting from this far away on those. They're like tanks anyway. I've got to collect this uh, other kudu. I'm going to use the 338, which is an absolute monster gun, but you need it for these beasts. Cape Buffalo. Look at that, two albinos. One's seven, so that'll be a gold. And the other's, I think it's a small female. But two albino Cape Buffaloes in one herd. I've never seen one or had one before. Uh, I've had an albino water buffalo but not cape buffalo so this is the first for one so it'd be nice if we can bag the biggest gold one there's a kudu it's a silver because of the quick kill we've got one lung so if we got a double lung it probably would have been a gold so let's run down here and 
Why not run down here? Oh my. Got some really big ones. Got mythical there as well. <laughs> right, this just turned from like uh, not sure what we're doing to a definite uh, theme. We're definitely after Cape Buffalo now. So we've got to get over to those. The only problem is I've got a 338, but I know I ain't got many rounds on me. I don't want to go back and get him. Oh my, we've got five. Now, anyone that knows about Cape Buffalo and Water Buffalo is, once you get getting mad, <laughs> you best be ready because they come at you. And if you don't hit them with a perfect shot the first time, they keep coming until you're dead. And we've got five bullets. There's probably about 25 Cape Buffalo in front of us. The bigger one's gone behind a bush. So I'm going to creep around the water, try and get close. So I want to get the best score possible on the biggest one. The smaller one I'm not too bothered about. I could try and shoot it from here, but we can't see the bigger one. So I think we're just going to have to creep around the water, try and avoid the ones on the right, and then get a good shot on the big one. And then if we can get the smaller little one as well, the other albino, we'll get that as well. That'd definitely be... Uh, a nice uh, surprise, an albino surprise, shall we call it. Let's try and creep round here. I want to get about 150 metres away, ideally. I don't want to uh, overdo it, especially with these animals, because um, they are like tanks. We could spend uh, a lot of shots trying to put it down, and Ron could get killed. <laughs> while doing it. Like I say, it's probably 20, 25 Cape Buffaloes here by the water. Also, I want to show you what it's like, so hopefully we can get close enough and have a good look at it. It's not obviously, not very often you see an albino Cape Buffalo, so it'd be nice to have a look at it first before we shoot it. This is where you could do with crocs or alligators. Imagine in this water and you're creeping like this and then one rushes out and grabs you. <laughs> be brilliant wouldn't it it has been suggested uh, previously crocs and stuff and gators and I think it would work a lot of people have been talking about maps recently as well what could be next uh, Australia pops up quite a lot what would you like Japan is the one I'd really like uh, the topography uh, the trees the layout it could be amazing some of the animals uh, just the look of it I think on this engine it could be brilliant I think Australia will definitely happen. Uh, what would you like to see happen? Uh, drop that in the comments. What reserve you would like next? Or what would you like adding next? Maybe a new weapon, a new item, anything. Just drop it in the comments. I like to see what people are thinking about what they'd like. There it is. Look, it is a beauty, man. It's also going to be dead soon. <laughs> that looked like a good shot. I went for a heart, but I think we've done enough there to put it down. And we've just got to watch for a stampede or one angry one to try and uh, wipe me out. Which is often the case, and here we go. <laughs> when you shoot one, then there's normally one angry one that comes, or sometimes it's two or three, and you get stampeded. So Ron's just got to try and get safe. I don't want to get knocked down. I want to try and get this one and the other one if we can. But we can't waste our bullets. Look, we've only got four left. A little tip when you're hunting angry species which attack, take your scope off. Because often, when you've got the scope on, by the time you scope up and they're close, they're going to do you. So I'd take it off when they're close range. Uh, you just press the middle mouse button and it pops it off. With the big powerful guns, like I say, all you've got to do is either hit them between the eyes or heart or lung close and you drop them anyway uh, with the big guns. So I think we might just make it to our uh, albino Cape Buffalo before this one gets me. Might have to shoot it. No, we're gonna have to shoot it first. All right. Now you can't get me up here. <laughs> I'm gonna use this little cliff. And when it comes back, we're gonna try and drop him. And we can get our bit albino. Albino, albino. Here we go. Get away. All right. All right. That's calmed it down. <laughs> it definitely calmed it down. Look, all that blood. That'll drop shortly. Right. On to me, albino. Albino. Albino run. Albino is how we say it. Right, here we go. Male albino. And it is a gold. So, Cape Buffalo 
Albino. First one runs over Ad. And now we've just got to get the other one. It is really pretty. That's definitely going in the lodge. Really happy about that. It's nice when you just go out for a hunt. You've got no idea what you're doing. Just hunting, shooting stuff, and then you come across something like that. It is brilliant. Really happy about that. Pretty as well. Pink nose. 338 demolished it. Let's taxi demise that. Let's not forget that. So that's taxi demise. Let's accept that. Should we try and get the other one now? It's only a small female, but it's another albino. So let's try and get it. Can we get two albedo cape buffalo? Can't believe that. Oh, here's the one that attacked us. Nearly forgot about that. I think that was only a small one. So there's the smaller female albino. Try and get a bit closer to it. Doesn't really matter about the score on that one because it's only going to be like a silver at best. So as long as we get it, it's just to say we've had two, isn't it? And then we'll go off to the lodge, mount our trophies. I'm only going to mount the, uh, the gold one. What's your favourite trophy animal you've ever had? In the Call of the Wild, drop that in the comments. Um, mine, I don't know what it'd be actually. The Thousand uh, Mule Deer was right up there. Um, I had some Diamond Red Deer, but not since the Trophy Lodge has been out. So I, I hunted a long time to get those. And uh, one of them I got by accident, which was very nice. Um, what else? I'm trying to think what our favourite trophy animal is. There are quite a few diamonds there. Drop in the comments what yours is, and I'll have a look at those and see. I'm sure lots of you have got some really good animals. I do look on uh, the Hunter Call of Wild Facebook group and see what you've posted. There's some great posts on there, so check that out if you're not normally uh, on Facebook or you haven't even searched for it. Check it out because there's a lot of people that play Call of Wild that go on there. Same as Twitter and the forums in Steam. A lot of people connect with each other and talk. The Hunter Discord as well is, is always popular. Lots of people on there and discussing tips, showing screenshots, trophy shots. So join the community, join in and, and just, you have more fun, it gives you more purpose in game, you connect with each other. It does serve a purpose. And it's fun doing so as well. Right, here's a female albino cape buffalo. Collect that, and then we'll go off to the lodge. A we'll quick look at it first. Pink nose, pink eyes. And that one is a female, so we've had a female and a male. It's only a two, but two albino cape buffaloes. And we, we didn't set out to hunt cape buffalo either, so it's worked out brilliant. Really enjoyed this hunt. Like I say, when it works out like this, you're just glad you put in the effort and just went hunting there. And it happened randomly as well, so it's nice. So where we're going to put the gold albino cape buffalo? I think we're going to put it here. We're going to remove our moose, which is a monster moose. New true rex moose. And replace it with the albino gold cape buffalo. So here we go. He's a bruiser. So let's just find a position for it. I don't know what position you can put it in, but as you can see, close up. Does look very nice, really muscular shoulders, thick set back, pink nose, pink eyes. Right, left and right mouse to move the positions. How should we have him? Standing up, I like that one. Looking straight at us. Definitely take a trophy shot of that one. Use that as a thumbnail, I think. Come on, you are. <laughs> if you know what the advert is, you'll understand that. That's quite a good one as well. If they rear up, I don't think they do. I think they just stand on fours or they lie down. So we'll just cycle through those. But I think I like the one we first chose. That's not bad. I'm just thinking as you come through the door of my lodge, how you'll see him. But we're doing well. The lodge is filling up nicely. I've got to put the moose somewhere now. So that's me, Ron McChew. We've been playing the Hunter Call of Wild on PC. I hope you enjoyed the video. We ended up with two albino cape buffalo. What a surprise that was. Didn't expect that. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.